What's going on, people? Welcome back to Premzy TV. I hope everybody is blessed. Well, if you're an Arsenal fan right now, you're probably pulling your hair out. But even still, I hope you are all blessed. Make sure you smash a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new, people. It's that time. Mudrick, it's not here we go to Arsenal. It's here we go to Chelsea. That's exactly what's happened. We've let the deal slip out of our hands. And Chelsea, Todd Bowley, who seems to be after every Tom, Dick and Harry, as looks like he sealed the deal. It looks like Mudrick's flying over to do his medical, confirm the contracts with Chelsea, and he will be a Chelsea player. Now, I know deep down a lot of Arsenal fans are very disappointed and pissed off to a different extent. I hear you. I feel you. You get me? If it was only down to £5 million, pounds, or even €5 million, Euros, and Arsenal didn't want to go and match that, or fool you, you get me? Because when you're in this position and you're at the top of the tree and you're going for the title, best believe teams are going to sting you regardless. Teams are going to overcharge you because they know the position you're in. But if you wanted to act like a big club and move with intent, you got to get these deals done early and finished and signed. And that's why it doesn't come to a massive surprise to me that Mudrick's not signing for Arsenal because this is a guy that we've been after for a long time. A long time. It's been pretty public. And if we were so serious about nailing his signature down, we would have had it done already. But we've let it go on and go on and go on because we're trying to penny pinch. I can understand not wanting to overpay dramatically for a player of his age that's coming from the Ukrainian league. However, 50, 60 million pounds already overpaying for him. You get me? It's already overpaying for him. Now, that's one side of it. The second side of it is, I don't want Arsenal fans to let this get you down. I don't want man to be getting in, getting at each other, arguing with each other, bringing the morale down because we're still top of the tree, five points clear, with a chance to go eight points clear after the derby. You get me? Now, January is not over. Start pulling your hair out. Yeah, if it comes to the end of January and we've not signed no players, I'm expecting two players to sign now, a midfielder and a forward 100% because we can see the money's there to put forward for Mudrick. You get me? We can see that clearly. But this guy, is it a blessing that he hasn't come to us? Let me tell you that. Let me ask you that. Is it a blessing that he hasn't come to us? And the reason I say that is because this guy has been all over social media wanting to join Arsenal, begging for a move. The moment some money comes into play, them contracts are being signed. 200 grand a week, he's wanting to sign it. You get me? I can hear that. It's a lot of money, and most people want to sign that. But if you really wanted that move, you really wanted to play for the Arsenal, you would have just hang back and said to Shakhtar, look, I'm not feeling this Chelsea move. My heart's set on Arsenal. I want to go there, make the deal happen. This kind of player in the next couple of years, if a Real Madrid come knocking, he'll be doing the same to Chelsea. Believe that he'll be doing the same to Chelsea. But all in all, we just can't let it get us down because we've got bigger fish to fry. If we don't sign in January, like we did last January, then it's a mad thing. Then it's a real mad thing. Now, I'm sure Arteta's smart enough to not just throw all his eggs in the basket for this one player. Because if he has done that and the club have done that, they're fucking daft. You get me? Now this player's off the cards, I want to see someone coming into the door real quick, real fast. That's going to help us push for the title. Help us go and clinch that title, a position that we've not been in for such a long time. If this ownership and the board are serious, yeah, and they want to win this title and they want to push on, they'll do something now. They will really do something because you've let a lot of Arsenal fans down. There's a lot of Arsenal fans that really wanted this guy, invested a lot of time in editing clips and all of that for this guy. You know what I'm saying? These guys are pissed off. I'm disappointed. But like I said, it's not the end of the world, people. It's not the end of the world. Sometimes transfers pay off. Sometimes they don't pay off. Sometimes you get who you want. Sometimes you don't. But you always need a backup plan. In life, regardless, you always need a backup plan. And this is another one of them situations where we have to now just go out and go and get them players that we, we want to get. You get me? Don't be fucking around now. 
Don't be fucking around. It's happened time and time again. Bruno Gomerez, players like that, that we've been after, Isaac and all of these players, and they just go into other teams. Show some cojones, show some balls in the transfer market. Match what these guys are doing on the pitch right now. Match it. You get me? We want to be winners. And that means not losing in the transfer market as well. Todd Bowley, yeah, the guy might be fucking throwing money left, right and centre, going for after everybody, whoever, everybody else wants. But the one thing about him, i got to give him, he's putting his money where his mouth is. He's putting the money on the table and he's bringing these players in. But for 100 million euros, do Arsenal really want to go and pay that much money? Matching for 200 grand's worth of wages like Chelsea are doing? I can't see that happening. So we know he's going to Chelsea. And it's all down to the board, really. Because if they would have acted quick, putting this, put this offer that they put at the end, right at the start, 9 out of 10, he probably would have been an Arsenal player. But that's not the case with Arsenal. We always penny pinch. You get me? We always penny pinch. But like I said, people, I've only brought this video out. It's a short one, you get me? Because I just thought I had to put my point of view across on this Mudrick situation. You get me? Obviously, it's not a nice scenario, but it is what it is. Don't let your heads drop before the North London derby. We have bigger fish to fry, people. It is what it is. You get me? It is what it is. But peace and love, and we'll see you on the next one.